If you are already a musician on YouTube or you've thought about making videos on YouTube, then this is the video that you need to be watching. Welcome everybody to the Insane in the Rain Jazz Challenge. That's what I'm gonna call this thing, I guess. Um, yes, this is a contest that I am starting on this channel. I've drawn inspiration for this challenge from many past ones on YouTube, including Family Jewel 7 xs challenge and also Swiggles RP, Swiggle RP's challenges. This one is gonna be unique to me. This is a jazz challenge because I do jazz. Here's what you've got to do. You've got to make a video game jazz cover in a week's time, just like I've been doing for the past few months now. Your time starts now, as this video is uploaded, and your final submissions are due next Saturday, July 16th at 9.29 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. They must be uploaded to YouTube by then. Any video that you have that has been uploaded before the release date of this video is not eligible for this contest. You have to make this video from this point onward until the deadline. After you've uploaded your video, please send an email. For the record, collaborations are not allowed in this contest. Um, this is just to make the judging process easier and make it so that I only have to give rewards out to a single person as opposed to multiple people. Speaking of prizes, let's talk about the judging. There is a panel of four lovely people who will be joining me on this judging quest. Um, one is myself, of course, I will listen to all your submissions. The other three are Doug Perry. Doug Perry is a percussionist slash vibraphone player. Um, he played on my arrangement of the lake theme from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, he's really great. Um, well-versed in jazz. Um, the next guy is Zorsi. You might know him from the YouTube. Um, he plays keyboards for the consoles and he's also got his own solo channel. And the last guy is Alex Popoff. He plays tenor saxophone for the Super Soul Bros, which are an amazing video game funk fusion band. Definitely check them out. Um, all four of us will be going through all of your submissions and judging them. So I have broken up the scoring into three categories. Um, these categories are genre, musicality, and presentation. Let me just explain what each of them means in a nutshell. So the genre criteria is basically how well does your arrangement um, reflect the conventions of the genre. Um, in this case it's jazz, but any subgenre of jazz like funk, jazz fusion, any of that is totally welcome. Um, basically what I, what I really want you to do is I want you to pick a genre and really sell it. Like listen to a bunch of records from that genre, um, go all out and make your music sound exactly like something done professionally in that genre would sound. Some of the criteria that I gave to the judges for this category include um, instrumentation, um, syncopation when appropriate, extended jazz harmony when appropriate, um, improvisation is really a big one, and also um, how well does your instrumentation complement the genre that you chose. That was genre. Now for musicality. Musicality is all about how well do you perform the arrangement that you wrote. This includes some simple things like, are you playing in time? Are you playing in tune? Um, are you playing your instrument correctly? But some more advanced things include stuff like, um, are you playing expressively? Or are you playing with um, really nice technical facility? That's stuff that we like to see in terms of um, musicality. The last category is presentation. This has to do with the mix and the video presentation that you provide when you do your submission. For the mix, I'm looking for well-balanced stuff. Um, basically meaning that I can hear almost everything you're playing and that it just sounds pleasant to listen to. Um, I'd recommend listening to some jazz records in the genre that you're choosing and then trying to emulate like the balance in those records with the mix that you produce. Regarding the video, um, what I'm really looking for is just something that is clear and frames you well. Um, it doesn't need to be super like super high produced. You don't need to have particle effects or borders or anything, as long as that you are appropriately showing what you're playing and that it looks like you put some effort into it. If you don't own a video camera or webcam or anything like that, you are welcome to use a still image with your video. Um, just bear in mind that it probably won't be scored as high with something with a camera just because, you know, we want to see you playing. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't get creative with that still image. You could do something cool with it, maybe add a visualizer. Um, just be creative with it, and then you'd be surprised at what you can do with the still image. Okay, okay, now, now that the boring criteria is out of the way, here's the stuff that you guys really came for, the prizes. So, um, every entrant is gonna get a free copy of Live at Grillby's, whether you've bought it or not, you're gonna get another one, if you already have it. If not, congratulations, you've get, got yourself a Jazz Undertale album. There will be four third place winners, not three, but four. Each of these third place winners will receive a 30 minute Skype or Google Hangout with me, you can talk about music or just games or something else, whatever you really want to talk about, and I'm, I'm all good for it. In addition, you guys will be getting signed copies of Live at Grillby's. I'll sign them, I'll write something personal and meaningful, like a love letter to your mom or something, <laughs> and then I'll send them to you and you can enjoy them. Yay! For second place winners, there will be two of them. Um, they get everything that the participants and the third place winners get, 
Plus, I will play on one of your arrangements. If you if you put a video together in the future and you want a mean saxophone solo on it or like a saxophone lead or something, I'd be happy to play for you. Um, just we'll contact each other via email or I don't know, Facebook or something, and we'll work something out. And for the glorious first place winner, you will get to be in one of my videos. So in the future, we'll work together to write an arrangement that um, is complementary to your style and my style, and then we'll record it and I'll put it to my channel. Um, yours too, if you really want to. Um, but yeah, you get to be on this channel in front of all these subscribers that I have and get views. But mostly it's just for the fun. I will also send you, wait, do I have one? Yes, I do. A used read. I will sign this read with a Sharpie and I will send it to you. Um, I would not recommend playing on this because it's really old, but you can have a used read of mine if you really want it. And that's all the prizes. Um, your time starts right now. If you're thinking to yourself, well, Carlos, why would you do this? I can't do a cover in a week. I say a lie. You can definitely do a cover in a week. Um, it just requires you to budget your time and spend some time learning about how some of these things work and then just go for it, man. Like, I really want to see as many people enter this content as possible. Um, if, even if you've never made a music video before, do it, seriously. Contests like this in the past have resulted for great growth in the YouTube music community. And um, I really want that to happen again with this one. Um, specifically, if you are a woodwind player or somebody who doesn't play guitar, not that guitarists aren't supposed to enter, but like, if you're a woodwind player or a brass player, then you really need to enter because we need more of you. But yeah, no excuses, you have a deadline. Get started on the project right now, and I expect to see your video uploaded by this time next week. So start getting creative and get to work. Um, hopefully your results will be available two weeks after the, com the contest submission deadline. Um, so that's like the end of July or something like that. You'll have results by then. Um, like I said, get to work. Why are you still here? Why are you not working? Get to work right now! Oh, also I've included some um, good additional resources in this PDF in the description. So if you download that PDF down there, you'll get all the contest information, plus a couple of links to very helpful resources that will help you in your journey to becoming the next video game music jazz master. Get to work!